you are at Rants Incorporated, where I rant about whatever my $10 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Ego Plant, who says, Rant about how external factors can impact media consumption experiences. That is to say, how being distracted IRL or just in your own mind, being extremely focused, high, sober, even just having a full stomach, affect your overall experience. For me personally, some of my favorite movies came out of a time when I was extremely depressed and they helped distract me for a few hours. I only wonder what I would have thought if I had been in a more normal state of mind. Other things I know I've hated just because of other things going on at the time. You can give personal examples and also talk about if you take this into consideration when scoring something. So, yeah, I definitely think that people do not give enough consideration to, like, how much it affects your mentality, like, your view of a show, to feel a certain way while you're watching it. And I do think that this probably impacts people who are more emotional thinkers more so than myself. For me, it's like... On some level, I think about my emotional response, and then I think about the show, and it's kind of easy to, like, parse those two into different categories, because I remember the show in terms of, like, what happened, not in terms of how I felt. Uh, I usually don't have very large emotional reactions to the shows I watch, uh, but if I do, that's usually noteworthy, and especially because of the fact that you know, I watch a lot of anime in a kind of clinical way, especially when I'm doing, like, finish or fail and just trying to, like, binge a shit ton of shows to catch up on stuff that year. Um, you know, watching anime back-to-back -back like that in a very unfeeling way, it's like, the sh it's everything is on the show, you know? Like, I am basically an automaton through which anime is filtered in that state of mind. And granted, like, my mind wanders very easily. So, yes, when I watch anime... The show has to be, like, absolutely riveting to hold my attention 100% of the time. And even then, you know, I I watch stuff with May. It's very helpful because I can ask her to, you know, remind me what just happened uh, if I'm not paying my complete attention. Uh, it's also why I prefer, if I'm going to, like, talk about a show unscripted, to have somebody else there, be it May or, like, Best Guy Ever on the Cantet channel. Because, again, I tend to miss shit. Uh, if I'm not, like, you know, 100% zero the fuck in. Which I might be more of if I'm watching something for work as opposed to for pleasure. If I'm watching stuff on my own time, you know, it could be just, like, a state of mind thing for different episodes even. But, and that's a big part of why I don't like watching stuff uh, weekly. Because <laughs> it's easier to maintain a, an emotional state when you're watching something all the way through. You get more immersed you are pretty much, it's just like you've dedicated an allotment of time to just sitting with this show and appreciating it. And when you have to do it every week, uh, for someone like me whose emotional state fluctuates wildly all the time, um, I am not conveniently in the same mood as I was a week ago for 12 weeks in a row to watch the same type of show. Like, it's way easier to brick watch stuff. So, you know... Um, you know, which is even why on content, like, at this point, you know, we do it as, like, three to four episodes at a time. Because it, it just means there's more concentration on it, you know? Um, but, yeah, I, I think that everything affects your experience. I think people really need to be cognizant of, cognizant of it. If you watch something in a bad way, consider that in your judgment. Like, for instance, Ash Vampire has been, like, relentlessly shitting on Higurashi for uh, the fact that he watched it with, like, a couple of his buddies in a call together, and they, like, ripped on it the whole time. And it's like, well, if you watch a show talking over it and looking for things to rip on, like, don't you think you're going to be exponentially more likely to not enjoy the experience when you're not, like, engaging with it in the intended way of what is relatively a horror mystery series? So, uh, you know, it's just like... To me, I mean, maybe for him that really doesn't impact it because maybe he was able to just keep track of everything just fine. Maybe he doesn't really enjoy anime in a way that, you know, maybe that, that he would get more impact out of watching a show that way. You know, maybe he would have felt exactly the same and just had the same conversation in his head as he would have had with his friends. But, uh, you know, it's just like if you're, if you're going to talk about a show, you really got to make sure that you account for the experience and maybe even expose the experience when you talk about it, you know, if it was unique in some ways. It will definitely have some kind of impact.